Hi Aries, my fat side Aries. What's up? What's good with y'all? I know y'all hella mad at me. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But I ain't forget about y'all. Welcome and welcome back to the channel, you guys. So I was gonna do y'all reading on Friday night, but it was the Sabbath day. But now I'm free to do y'all reading because the Sabbath is officially over until next Friday. So if you are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. This is Queen of Wands. Eleven, eleven, nah. Here to do y'all love reading for September. September. We're in September 2024. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Let's get into this love reading and see what the universe has for you. What messages the universe wants you guys to know when it comes to love. Keep in mind that this is general. So take the messages that may resonate with you now and leave the rest. If this does not resonate with you now or make sense with you now, I could be predicting something for the near future okay this is a prediction read so take that how it may resonate with you all right and if you would like to book me for a private personal reading that information will be linked in the description box down below and i will post it on the screen roll the dice okay so you are about to take a chance take a risk a leap of faith this could be a brand new beginning here, okay? I feel like you're coming up with some sort of strategy, okay? Breakup is at the bottom of the deck. So this could be your exit strategy for some of y'all Aries out there, okay? You're walking away from someone. You're ending a connection. You're in separation for some of you. It's over, okay? I feel like you do not want to repeat a cycle with this person. I feel like you are done with this person, all right? You are fed up. You are tired of dealing with this person. You're walking away, and I feel like you're planning your exit strategy you're taking a risk you're taking this leap of faith into the unknown okay yeah party <laughs> okay so some of y'all could be going to a party a celebration public social gathering or some sort of event here or you could be celebrating this breakup <laughs> for some of y'all y'all could be drinking smoking getting lit turning up T -t 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 turn it up yeah you single okay so you could be partying you could be happily single i feel like sometimes you do feel alone you could be in isolation you could be feeling lonely or this is an energy that's going to be coming in like you could be feeling lonely you could be feeling alone and isolated okay you could be guarded <sighs> what is going on aries what is happening what is happening? Aries. So you're being vague about something here, all right? I feel like, yeah, you're speculating. Somebody leaves you to speculate. Yeah, I feel like you had a toxic relationship with somebody here, okay? I do see that you guys were fighting, arguing. Somebody's codependent, okay? Somebody does not want to let you go. There's some misunderstandings between you and a person here. I feel like the snake be triggering you too, okay? There's deception. Somebody's deceptive, shady, a shady individual. Somebody did something shady towards you, okay? Um, you may see this person as an enemy, but be careful because they're going to try to make you fall into temptation because I feel like they do want to reconcile with you, okay? So they're going to try to tempt you. This person may actually fall into temptation themselves, okay? But they want a reunion with you. They want a second chance. They miss you. Um, they want to get back together with you guys, and I feel like this is going to be unexpected. You're not going to be expecting for this person to come back around or to reach out to you however they try to start some sort of reunion with you okay hmm how do you feel about this person this person made you a love offer could have been a proposal y'all could have gotten engaged you felt like this person was your soulmate all right but i feel like yeah this person is going through something financially they're having money problems so they may owe debts rent credit card bills car note mortgage whatever the case is they have um unpaid bills here they got problems with their finances here okay somebody could be like focusing on material things success work here okay if somebody is working but i feel like yeah somebody got financial 
issues going on here. Aries. Messages for Aries. Aries. This person that you was dealing with is a player. Okay, I don't feel like this person has changed. I feel like they are manipulative. This person is a karmic. They're charming, but I feel like you're going to be tested. Yeah, this person's being tested too. I feel like they give you anxiety when you're around them. They stress you out. Some of y'all been depressed being with this person, having panic attacks. You may suffer from panic attacks or some sort of anxiety here. Okay, some of y'all been losing nights of sleep dealing with this person because this person was being fake with you. This person was wearing a mask with you. This person was not being their true authentic selves. This person was being a catfish concealing things you know trying to keep things from you lying to you yeah this is an ex-lover who's wearing a mask this is somebody from the past you know i feel like they're dwelling on the past here you know they're reminiscing they're thinking about you they're nostalgic right now okay they're looking at old photos for some of you here if you have photos that you taken with this person or if this person saved photos of you in their phone computer tablet I feel like they still look at some photos here. They may have a photo of you guys in like a picture frame with a heart around it. For some of you, that could be significant here. All right. But they're thinking about the memories that you two created here. This is an old flame. Okay. Yeah. So be careful with this ex-lover because I feel like this person has not changed. They're still a player. They're still wearing a mask, but they want to come back to you. But I feel like this is somebody that you had a toxic relationship with. Okay, it was so toxic that, you know, you suffer from anxiety, panic attacks, or whatever the case is. Too much stress is on you dealing with this person. Okay, you've been depressed, and that's the energy that I do not want y'all guys in, or girls. Okay, I don't want y'all in that energy. All right, y'all deserve to be happy. Period. Communication at the bottom of the deck. So you're going to hear from somebody here. <clears throat> you're going to get a phone call. This person could be hitting you up online. You could be getting a text from this person. This is a young male. All right. Somebody who is sporty, youthful looking. Somebody who loves cars here. You may have a family with this person. Some of you are like looking for your soul family, your soul tribe. You could be around a group of people. Okay. You could be looking for like your origin, like where you came from, your family history, your family tree, something like that. All right. Let's see. Messages for Aries. Some of y'all could be getting closer to y'all family members. Y'all could be coming like closer to y'all family members. Yeah, true gem. So you're a true gem in somebody's life. I feel like you bring value to this person's life, to your family members' lives. Um, some of you have gemstones, crystals. You work with crystals or you have jewelry. You may sell these items or you just love jewelry. I'm seeing a purple amethyst. So some of y'all have purple on right now. Some of y'all, y'all favorite color is purple. Y'all favorite movie could be the color purple or purple rain, purple rain. <laughs> okay, that song. But yeah, I feel like true love is coming in. Pure love or honest connection is coming towards you. You could be finding true love within your family members, your your kids, or this is a love interest coming in. Okay, yeah, a past person sees you as their true love now. Okay, but I feel like you're leaving the past in the past here. But this is a past lover that is showing up in you guys' energy. They're showing up in your energy here. Okay, let's see what's going on for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node for September. What's going on in September for Aries? What's going on in September? Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Give me clear, honest messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node for September children okay so this past person you may have children with them they may have children or they're just like childish okay yeah hmm. let's see dating queen a lot of people want to date you you got a lot of options coming in 
A lot of opportunities is coming in for you. You're at the right place at the right time. People want to take you on dates. I see abundance coming into your life, okay? I could see somebody wanting to travel towards you, wanting to see you or wanting you to travel to them. You may be wanting this person to travel with you on vacation. This could be a honeymoon. So some of y'all could be getting married here with a honeymoon being here. Or you're just going to be enjoying somebody's company. Yeah, union. See, I feel like um somebody wants a serious relationship with you. Marriage. Y'all could be married in a serious relationship right now or in a partnership. But this could be a long distance relationship for some of you or there's some sort of distance between between you and this person this person could be from a foreign theme a foreign background so for some of you this person is from a whole nother country here all right um aries let's see what the tarot has for you don't forget you guys to like share comment and subscribe to the channel turn your post notifications on to all do me that favor if you have not subscribed already subscribe to the channel and if you would like to book me for a private personal reading my readings are open now i am open and available for private personal readings get the readings while they are available because i am booked and busy you guys and i am willing to squeeze y'all in for some readings here so if you want a reading if you want to book me for a reading okay i won't mind doing your reading just email me at the email that is below on the screen and you guys um let me know that you want a reading i will do your love reading for y'all okay Let's talk about the chariot, cancer energy. So, yeah, somebody is coming towards you. Could be a cancer. All right, who's coming towards you? Some of y'all may have cancer in your chart. But I feel like somebody is coming to see you. You could be going to see somebody here. I see traveling. I see you guys overcoming obstacles. I see you guys soaring high in September. I see you guys taking charge of your life, taking charge. I see you guys moving. Some of y'all could be moving, relocating to a different city, state. Y'all could be moving to a different country. Some of y'all could be getting a car. Some of y'all could be taking a driver's test, getting your permit, getting your ID here. Yeah, but whoever's coming towards you could be a Capricorn. Um, let me see. Somebody could be obsessed with you, or this is somebody that's toxic. Okay, yeah, you've ended a connection with this person. All right, you've ended a connection with them. You closed out a cycle, you're completing a cycle here. You feel whole, you feel complete. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, could be a Taurus, Scorpio, a Leo, or an Aquarius, or yeah, Aries, Sagittarius, somebody who's a player, somebody that's fickle with their energy, somebody that's in and out of your life, somebody that acted like they didn't know what they want here, somebody that um you ended a relationship with. Yeah, I feel like this person is somebody that's coming in hot and heavy. They're taking action towards you, and I feel like they're here for a good time, not a long time. Okay, this person is a player, but I feel like they are going to have to put an end to this player energy with the death. Okay, I feel like your ancestors is also checking this person before they come in. They're trying to come in and the death is here, which is an ancestor. Your ancestors is stopping this person from coming in. So if you have not heard from this person yet, it's because your ancestors are stopping this person from coming in. All right. Yeah, they don't want this person... <laughs> They do not want this person in your energy. This is a missed opportunity, okay? It's over with the death. They may tell you that they have changed, but I feel like, nah, you still rejecting this person's offer with the four of cups. Yeah, you're putting these burdens down. You're putting this baggage down. You're putting this heavy weight, heavy load, heavy burden off of your shoulders. You're taking all the responsibilities that you had to deal with with this person off of you. Okay, it feels like a breath of fresh air. Yeah, you're getting an offer with the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This could be about a lot of money here, okay? You're getting a message about some money here, Aries. Or this could be a job offer for some of you. It's going to resonate differently for everybody. This could be about money, a job offer, a bonus promotion, or a raise here, okay? Yeah, something about um this ace of pentacles is being hidden from you this could be a brand new beginning here you may not see this coming with the moon all right i feel like yeah there's also new love coming in for you okay some of you um this is a cancer pisces scorpio cancer energy you've been celibate you've been you know listening to your intuition you've been doing readings you know i feel like or you're just watching readings you could be into the metaphysical divination you believe in um divine intervention i feel like a lot of you are very intuitive somebody's initials could begin or n or somebody's middle initial could be b or j here but i'm seeing something being hidden here 
Okay, pomegranates is significant for some of you. So some of you may drink pomegranate juice or eat pomegranate fruit. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. All right, let's see what's going on in Aries energy. What is the high priestess here for? Okay, I feel like you had a spiritual connection with somebody here. Yeah, somebody with the five of pentacles. They want to come out of the cold with you. Okay, yeah, this person is in regret with the five of cups. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or an Earth sign with water placements in their chart. I feel like somebody here is sad over you. They're mourning the loss of this connection. They're in regret. They're thinking negatively about things here, about love, or about their life. They're thinking negatively towards things, okay? I also feel like this person is crying over spilled milk. They feel like all hope is lost here. Yeah, somebody else is coming towards you, but I feel like this person who's sad is going to give you some sort of an apology or a love offer. You know, they're going to come in, but be mindful. Use your intuition when this person does come in because I feel like they're going to tell you everything that you want to hear, okay? This could be a Pisces. For some of you guys, you're changing your perspective about this person. You see this person from a different you see this person differently. You see them in a different light. Okay, this person is all up in their head about you. Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This person cannot stop thinking about you. Okay, but I feel like this person is trying to keep you stuck. They're trying to keep you stuck, stagnant, and in limbo in a relationship with them. All right, what is their intentions? Why do they want to keep you stuck? Okay, wow, it could be about some sort of money here. You may work with this person. You may see them at work every day. You may do business with this person. I feel like this person does want to build with you. Okay, why does this person want to keep you stuck? See, the three of swords came out upright, but then it flipped in my hand in the reverse. So they want forgiveness from you. I feel like you've gotten over whatever this person put you through. If they put you in a third party situation. I feel like you've gotten over that. You've healed from that. Yeah, they can't move on from you. Okay, with the six of swords. Could be an air sign. They can't move on from you. Okay, they want to stick with you or come back. They miss that dick. They miss that twat. They miss the sex. They miss the intimacy with you. They want a brand new passionate beginning with you. I also feel like there's a new person coming in. But you don't feel like confident about this connection. Okay, you don't feel confident about this connection. You could be ghosting this person. Okay. Virgo energy with the hermit here because this person could be in a relationship already with the two of cups in the heart font. This person could be married. Okay, this person could be married for some of you. So, <sighs> but they can't move on from you. I feel like you turn this person on. They could be like trying to keep you stuck because of the sex. Because with the devil here in the Ace of Wands, I have some bomb ass sex. So it could be the dick. It could be the twat. I don't know. But um, they want to build on a connection with you. But at the same time, I don't feel like you will believe that this person has changed. With the death and the four of cups. I don't feel like you will believe that they have changed. You know, I feel like you are bored of hearing that. You may have heard that before. You know, you're just not feeling them anymore. You have like a strong soul connection with this person. But I feel like you are not interested in them anymore. You know what I'm saying? And they want to send you a message. They want a brand new beginning with you. But they're hiding some sort of secrets. Okay, they're hiding their feelings with the moon and the ace of cups. They're hiding their feelings. They're definitely hiding their emotions here for you. With the high priestess, the ace of cups, the moon, they're hiding it. I don't know what for. And they do have emotions for you. This person does love you with the knight of cups. But I just feel like they're not actually expressing it right now. Okay. And it could be because they're in this regret remorseful energy they're crying they're trying to hide their face you know 
there's somebody else coming in towards you and they're sad about that that they've missed their chance but i feel like yeah they do have emotions for you but they're just hiding it you know this person act like they don't like to show emotion but why are they trying to be back into your life if they're not going to give you clarity or you just don't know where you stand with this person when it comes to their feelings. You may not even know how they actually feel about you right now. Or they feel like they don't know how you feel about them. Hmm. There's somebody coming towards you. They're obsessed with you. They want to give you the world. They're taking action towards you, honey. Okay, this person went through an ending and I feel like they get they get bored, but they're not coming in with baggage. This person's going to reach out to you. Y'all may start off small, but it's going to turn into something serious here. And you may be like, I don't know, a little bit confused about this new love. This new love could be dreaming about you, but I feel like you are listening to your intuition about something here. Okay. Yeah, sorry about my kids in the background, y'all. But yeah, um, somebody got to get over somebody or get, you know, pass some shit with that Six of Swords in the reverse. All right. So that's y'all reading. Let me know how this resonated with you. Let me know if you guys stay to the end, if you like the content, if you like the video. If you want to see me do my readings for y'all, do me a favor, like, share, comment, subscribe. If you have not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Turn your post notifications on, y'all, to ALL. So every time I post a reading for you guys, you guys will be notified, all right? And I love you guys so, so much. I will be doing more readings for y'all. Y'all just hit that like button. Make sure you hit that like button when you watch the video. I will keep doing readings for y'all. If y'all do not hit the like button, then, you know, you're going to have to wait. <laughs> you're going to have to wait, but... You know, hit that like button. Whoever watches, just hit that like button. All right? Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And I will do more readings for y'all. Like I said, if this don't make sense with you now, if this don't resonate with you now, this is a prediction reading for what's to come in the near future. So keep that in mind, you guys. All right? I love you guys so much. Until next time. Bye, Aries. And I will see y'all in the next reading. Bye.